Aaron, congratulations, first of all. Um, so Thank getting you. back to the Super Bowl is extremely hard, as you know. How much does an award like this energize you to work harder next season? Well, you, I'm always going to work, but, you know, um, accomplishing something like that from putting a body working, you can be pumped up. But we all know the ultimate goal is, you know, to, to be trying to hold that trophy up as world champion at the end of the year. So, um, you know, to accomplish that, you know, I, I got to continue to work. You are also known for your work off the field in the community. How much do you turn this award into sync for the communities you serve? Well, it's, it's motivation, you know, to a lot of the youth, the young kids look to me um so uh, i have an opportunity to you know not just win this award but you know me being who i am i know i'm gonna be you know with my foundation everything having the kids that's gonna be training with me that's gonna motivate them and um you know hopefully motivate them to do some great things thank you so much congratulations all right thank you maria you're on mute maria sorry Aaron, congratulations. Can you just tell us what this means to you? You, you? you win the award year after year, but what does it mean to you at this stage of your career? Um, well, it's a blessing. Like I always say, I always say the same stuff. You know, um, anytime you're rewarded for the body of work you put in and, and people notice that, you know, you're going to be happy about that. You know, you're, you're accomplishing great things, built into a legacy, you know, but um, never satisfied, you know, so um, I know I still got a lot of work to do, um, a lot of room for improvement. And, and like I said, you know, the ultimate goal is to be, you know, holding that trophy up. And, 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 and that's what we chasing. That's what I'm chasing. That's what I want to accomplish. And until I accomplish that, you know, I ain't going to be too satisfied with nothing. So, Lindsay. Hey, Aaron, uh, this is obviously the first time we've spoken with you since the season ended. Um, so I'm just wondering if kind of what we saw on, on the sideline and the emotion from you after the Packers game, if that was indicative of just how badly you want to win um, a Super Bowl. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, you know, <laughs> obviously we got to that point I wanted to win. You know, you wanted to do everything you can to try to help your team, to, you know, accomplish that but you know being having an injury I felt like you know I wasn't able to you know play at my best and, and do what I can do it was limited but um so I, I kind of felt like I let my team down you know um so you know if anything it, it, it just motivates you make me have to work that much harder um you know trying to find ways to keep myself healthy you know so um come back to that that stage you know I'm ready to be at my best and Aaron, what was your reaction to Brandon Staley moving on and um, you guys hiring Raheem Morris to be your defensive coordinator? Uh, I'm happy for him. You know, I'm definitely happy for him. It's, it's a, you know, something that he accomplished and I know he's happy for it. Um, know his family's happy, um, you know, but, you know, I'm, I'm excited about for the future, you know. So um, with the players we get, with the coaches we bring in, you know, I know we continue to, we can continue to play at a higher level and dominate, so. Kevin, uh, Aaron, congratulations. Um, what kind of contact have you had with Raheem Morris, and, and what kind of change do you think will come to the defense with the change of coordinators? Um, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going. He's going to bring his own little twist to the defense, but um, overall, I feel like we're going to have similar things, but at the same time, different things. So, just learning a new scheme, um, trying to see how he wants us to play certain stuff, but. Um, you know, I, I'm excited. I, I hear nothing but great things about him. So I'm, I'm definitely pumped up um, to have the opportunity to work with him and, and be a part of this organization. So, mm -hmm. and, and just to, to uh, uh, I guess, add on to something I think Maria was asking about the meaning of the award at this stage. Uh, by the next time you put on the uniform, you'll be 30 years old. Uh, how much does that enter into your mind as you think about what's ahead and, uh, you know, and, and, and I guess specifically as you uh, approach off-season workouts, does anything change with the idea of maintaining your longevity and, you know, staying as fit as you are? For sure. You know, I, I definitely getting older, you know, you, I definitely feel them aches and pains a little different. So, um, just I'm always going to work hard. I, for me, I, I can't slow down the way I work, the way I train. I just got to make sure that I, you know, take care of my body, do that much more to make sure that, you know, uh, I'm, if, if I do got a little ache and pain through this offseason from training, you know, make sure I'm on, on, on top of it and taking care of it to the point where it lingers. So, um, 
you know, doing everything I can, to, you know, be in great shape, be, be prepared come game time or, or, or when football's back. Um, but at the same time, making sure I'm, I'm healthy enough to, you know, I won't be limited or slowed down by nothing. So, mm-hmm. you're already back to working out. Yes, uh, actually, the last week was my first week I took off, so it was good to, you know, relax, chill with the kids, let my body heal a little bit more, and um, you know, right back to work tomorrow. Thank you, yep. Yuri. Aaron, uh, speaking generally uh, about trades in the NFL. Um, are you surprised? Are you ever surprised at all when teams move high profile players? Um, am I surprised when teams move yeah. players? Well, it's, a, it's a business. Things things happen. Um, yeah, that's what people got to understand. Um, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a, it's a game, but you know, it's, it's a business at the end of the day, you know? So, um, am I surprised? Um, at times, yeah, but you know, you, you never know what can happen in this business. So, and then, um, in, in terms of um, Raheem Morris coming in, um, you guys also have lost Aubrey Pleasant, Joe Barry, some of the assistants who helped install uh, that system with Brandon Staley. Are, are you concerned at all? You know that you've got you're going to have new new coaches coming in trying to kind of keep this system in place at all. Um, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we they're gonna, we're going to bring some great coaches in that, um, to make up the coaches we lost. And, you know, uh, I think we'll be fine, you know. So, um, you know, we still got some great players. You know, they we can, they obviously we're going to bring some great coaches in to, to make sure they continue to coach us and, and get us right as far as, you know, preparing and getting us ready. So, um, if anything, I'm more excited about, about you know, the future. So, And, and finally, um, have you had any – uh, conversations with Raheem Morris yet, and and if so, what uh, what what did he say? Um, I didn't. Um, he he, I, he had called me. I missed his call. He left me a message. I tried to call back. You know, so it's been more phone text. I really didn't get to speak with him yet. But um, like I said, just just talking to you know players and, and coaches around the league. I uh, hear nothing but great things about him. Um, I, I'm pumped up about him being a part of this organization you know, and, and helping us, you know, get better and win, so. Thank you. Yep. Here. Hey, Aaron, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Hey, um, you mentioned you're excited about the future and where this team c- can go. Um, obviously, the Super Bowl is being played today. Uh, what do you feel like your team needs to do to be playing in that game and not watching it next year? We got to just play, you know, lights out. We got to play more consistent football. That's what it come down to. You, um, you got we, we got to be a consistent team that do it week in and week out consistently. Um, and, and and if we if we do that, you know, I, I know we'll be back on that stage and have an opportunity, you know, to be playing for a world championship. So, Super Bowl's going to be held in SoFi next year. What would it mean for the Rams to be able to play essentially a home game if you guys were able to to accomplish that? Oh, that that'd be a blessing. You know that, like I say, man, that that's what that's what I'm working for. I know that's what. You know these coaching and the, and the, and, these, and these and these guys on this team is working for. You know, that's the ultimate goal. That's that's what you train for. Um, that's what that's what you prepare for. They have opportunity to be on that stage, to be playing for a world championship, and uh, and that's what we're scratching and working to get. No matter where we're playing, but it's gonna be make that much. It's that much better if we can if we can accomplish that and, and do it back in L.A. You know that'd be great. One last question: Are you gonna watch the game today? And if so, who you got? Um. I, I probably watch a little bit of it, not too much, but you know, I, I really don't know who's going to win. I think it'll be a good game. Um, you know, you, you got you know the young bull, you got the, you know, the guy that been doing it forever, the goat. You know, one of the greatest of all time. So, um, you know, I think it's going to be a fun game to watch. But you know, like I said, if if it ain't me playing in there and my team, I, I don't really care too much about it. So, you stand out of the prog- uh, the prediction business. <laughs> All right, thanks, Mom. Yep. Aaron, congratulations on uh, on your award, third time in four years. I want to ask uh, how special this is for you to just kind of do it on one organization and be able to kind of establish yourself and your game uh, on one team for as long as you haven't been successful. Um, it's a blessing, you know, um, to be consistent year in and year out, playing on a high level. It just, you know, um, it's the players I got around me that push me. 
the coaches I got that's coaching me. You know, I, I, I was blessed that, you know, coming with a great defensive line coach and, and, and Coach Wolf and then, you know, having a, a young coach that, that's working to be great and that's going to be great. And I learned a lot from him. Coach Henning, you know, it, he, it's just making me that much better, you know. So having pieces around me to help me, to push me, to get me better with the work ethic I got and the mindset I got, you know, sky's the limit. So, um, you know, it's it just been a, a, I've been a great seven years, you know, um, but, you know, I, I feel like I got a lot of room for improvement in a lot of things. And, you know, I'm until I accomplish what I want to accomplish and get to where I want to get to, you know, it ain't no slowing down. So when you were a kid, did you ever kind of dream about, you know, being the best defensive player in the league three out of the last four years? Was, was that something that uh, you kind of wrote down or across your mind? Honestly, I just dreamed about being in the NFL. You know, I, I never I thought that was just the, the milestone there, you know, you, you I, to accomplish the things I accomplished in a short amount of time in this league. Um, you know, I would have never dreamed this or thought this in a million years. So to see it come full circle and, and be where I'm at today, um, you know, that's what that's why I live off, you know, hard work pay off. You know, just seeing the grind, the body of work I put into, you know, preparing myself and getting myself ready. Um, to see the outcome and, and, and the, how that hard work pay off, man, it, it, it truly is a blessing. So, I, I have one last question. So last night, JJ Watts sent a tweet out. I know that uh, game kind of recognizes game. I was just curious what you thought of TJ Watts game last year. Oh, he's, he's a hell of a football player. You know, I think he's been playing lights out. He's been playing consistent. You know, that's, that's two years back to back. He, I felt like, you know, he, he had dominant season. So um, I respect his game, respect the way he played. And, um, you know, hopefully continue to play at a, at a high level like that and, and continue to be consistent because I know, um, you know his teammates love when he's making plays. I know the coaches love when he's making plays. So um, I wish nothing but the best for him. Thank you so much. Good luck on this offseason. Yeah, thank you. All right, we'll wrap up with these last two, uh, Jordan and uh, Michael. Hey, Aaron, just a, a couple quick ones for me. Um, thanks for taking the time. Um, I know you can't say anything about any – anyone or anything right now, but um, it, correct me if I'm wrong. I think uh, you've sacked Matthew Stafford six times in your career. Yes. Uh, what do you remember? Not about um, the sacks maybe itself, but like the way he kind of got up from them and like re returned to the field from having uh, someone like you take him down. Uh, and I think it was three times in one game at one point. Uh, he, he's a tough guy, you know, um, he, he kept, he stayed poised, you know, no matter through ups and downs from me, just playing him, watching him, you know, a lot of, you know, quarterbacks make mistakes and they, and they shut down and, and consistently make mistakes. He's a guy that, you know, if something negative happened, you know, let that affect him for the rest of the game. You know, he come back still playing at a high level, you know, and it was always, you know, um, you know, fun to play against him, you know, so. And then um, with, Eric Henderson, because of the assistant coaches that have, have taken other other roles that are currently interviewing for other positions, how important is it, do you think, this year to have someone like him as, as maybe a, a core foundational piece on this defensive staff, especially to get everyone on the same page and continue to install through, um, you know, a, a, thir a third coordinator in three years? Um, I think it's huge, man. I, I really think Coach Haney's a great coach. You know, um, I'm not just saying that. I, I, I learned a lot from him. I learned a lot from him this offseason. I'm um, having a second year to be able to, you know, work with him, learn from him. Um, helped me a lot. You know, he's a guy that's, you know, never going to allow me to get his fat. You know, he's always going to get on me. So when you got a coach like that, you know, and you're actually taking from him and learning from him, you know, um, you know, that's, that's a guy that I definitely want to, you know, be with, finish my career with. And continue to learn from and build with. So um, having him with this organization, you know, hopefully we get get something done. So he's there um, a little longer. Um, you know, it, it's going to be a, a good good plus for us, definitely as defensive line. And um, you know, I'm just excited about you know the, the future coaches we get and, and and continue to build with Coach Henry. So. And then Aaron, one more for me. Thanks. Uh, sorry, guys. Um, Reggie Scott mentioned a, a really important moment that you two shared after the the loss in in Green Bay uh just a really emotional moment after the game um where he felt like he just wished he could have um just done more and and you you guys had a had a special moment are you able to to share any details about that and what that was like to to have him to sort of lean on after that well you know Reggie been there with me since you know since I came in this league so um he, he watched me grow 
um, he, he know the he know the body of work I put in, you know. So, um, you know, it, it for me, there was a lot of things going through my head, emotional. Um, you know, and again, I talked about you know me not being able to you know be at my best for my guys when they needed me. You know, like I said, I felt like I let them down. So, um, you know, having him to be there and, and you know trying to give me some type of comfort, you know, you know, all you all you want to be the tough guy, but you know, at the, at the end of the day. You no, know, I love this game. You know, I want to win. I want to accomplish something that, you know, I fell short of. So, I'm um, having guys like that to, you know, be there for me when need be. You know, that that's great. You know, that's why I love these the certain people we got in this organization, man, because they've been there for me since day one, and they continue to watch me grow. And, um, you know, my my goal is, you know, the experience, being a world champion, and and experience what that feel like with them guys that been there since day one. So. Um, you know, I always gonna love Reg, you know, so um I definitely appreciate him. So Darren. Yep. All right, we'll wrap up with you, Mike. Thanks. Hi, Aaron. I'll just one last one for me, and then I'll let you go enjoy your, your Super Bowl Sunday. It's been a pleasure and it's been uh inspiring to watch you play these last five years. And to that end, I've watched you wreck a game. Uh, and a game plan for other offenses. I've watched you turn a game and change the momentum with one single big play. So for those naysayers that only look at the stat sheet, what do you want them to know uh, that goes beyond the stat sheet as far as your game and what makes uh, a defensive player of the year? Um, well, I, I don't want to try to say, no. I just, I just say I, I play ball. I play football at the end of the day. You know, for me, um, it's not individual stats. It's, it's not about trying to go out there to try to, you know, accomplish an individual goal at the end of the day, you know, um, I got one ultimate goal and that's to win a, uh, win a Super Bowl, you know, and that's me going out there playing at a high level week in and week out, doing anything I can to affect the game to help my team to win. You know, if that's me holding a triple team and letting another guy come free, making a big play, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that, you know, cause that's going to help us win games. And that's what it's about at this, in, in, in this league, you know, the end the individual success, um, it's a blessing, but that's that's not what I'm chasing. You know, I got I, one ultimate goal, and that's to, you know, be holding a trophy at the end of the year. And so, um, I'm just playing at a high level, going to continue to play at a high level to accomplish that. So, um, you know, everybody a, a voice that allowed to have their own opinions about things. That don't get me mad, but uh, I'm going I'm going to continue to work and, and continue to do what I can to help help my team win. You know, and, and whatever I can do, that's what I'm going to do. So.